like so political. So I know that's probably what this is about. It's looking like I'm correct. With the Okay, wait, that's really interesting. So, yes, political. Let's see if we can like take it from a mental health perspective. Like it's it definitely seems to be talking about like the terrors and the horrors that happen in the world and how often we are and not to get too political, but often how certain people in power have something to gain by making us see these horrors a certain way, right? But it's like this recognition like you know, when we're referencing Tiananmen Square, like the, the Tiananmen Square massacre and people dying for, for what they believed in and yeah. And people dying for trying to stand, dying for trying to stand up for democracy and like they disguise it, hypnotize it. Television made you buy it. The differing opinions in how the way that the information is presented to us and the person who it's presented by and the facts that are highlighted makes us believe certain things. And then there's like this, she's scared that I'll take her away from there and the dreams in her country. This is an interesting, an interesting part. I'm not entirely sure what that means yet, but then mesmerize the simple-minded propaganda leaves us blinded back to a, like there are horrible things that are happening and the propaganda and the messaging that we receive often leaves us blinded to it. I'm with you. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, Serge. I'm just sitting in my car and waiting for my car. I'm just sitting in my car and waiting for my Okay, do you want to highlight something? That's actually really interesting. There's something really interesting about thinking about how like all of these things are going on around you, around the world, all of these horrors. And yet, like I'm just sitting in my car waiting for my girl. It's like the difference between the things that are happening around you that you think about and that you recognize and what's happening to you in that moment. And I think it can really feel very all consuming at times when we think about all of the things that are happening in the world, like the, the wars, the famine, the homelessness, the human trafficking, like literally the disease, the genocides, everything, 
everything that is happening around us now, everything that has happened around people throughout history. And yet so often while this is happening, I'm just sitting in my car waiting for my girl. I'm just doing the dishes. I'm just X. Like the present can be so dramatically different than your present can be so dramatically different than what is present for other people or what you can acknowledge is happening around you. And I think it's really, really hard to navigate how to deal with that. Like, how do I deal with these very dissonant realities, what I'm existing in and what's happening to me in this moment versus what I know is occurring around me. That's really, really bad. How do I, how do I contribute good to that? And how do I not let the guilt of that almost like survivor's guilt in a way, eat me alive. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The song really points to those two realities and I think it can be really challenging. I see in my clients, it's really challenging to reconcile those two things and to know how to exist in a world where that is true, where often the reality you are living in that moment is very different from the pain that you see others existing in. And there's this desire to help and this feeling of helplessness and almost feeling like you're not doing enough. And what I remind my clients is there is a, a huge difference between your sphere of control and your sphere of concern. And it is human and the right thing to be concerned about what is going on in the world. And your sphere of control, the things that you can control in regard to what is happening oftentimes across continents, many times in, across states, things that are not happening in your home, in your family, what you can control in that regard is not probably as much as you would like it to be, but that is where your focus should lie. Like, is there organizations that you can donate to? Is there, you know, maybe you wanted to run for office. Are there people who are running for office that you really believe in that are doing a good job that you can support? And is there ways that you can spread information and educate others? Like that's what you can control. And the other thing is, is that within that sphere of control, if you are navigating the things that you can control and trying your best to contribute, trying your best to create a family environment that is safe, a city that is safe, trying your best to give good, that has to be enough. Because what happens when you focus too much on your sphere of concern is that it paralyzes you. It actually keeps you from acting because your sphere of concern is far too big. There is always gonna be far more to be concerned about than what you can control. But when you focus on your sphere of control, it inspires you into action because it feels like there are things you can do to help and there are things that you can do to help. They might not be as big as you want them to be, but they do make a difference, especially when, when everyone focuses on their sphere of control, that's when we're able to ignite change in a positive direction. And so you get to be a part of that change by focusing on yours. And yeah, it's weird and it's hard to know that there's so much going on around you and to be doing your dishes or to be sitting in your car waiting for your girl or picking up a friend, but it's an unfortunate part of reality. And the way that you reconcile that and the way that you work with it is by focusing on what you can control. And that is the things in your life and allowing those things around you that you are concerned about to ignite more empathy in you, but not to paralyze you. When we listen to this song, we can use it to acknowledge that there are often two opposing realities. And then we can use it, right? Both exist at the same time. There are terrors going on around the world and our present life might not reflect that. And once we acknowledge those two realities, it empowers us to focus on the present that is our own life and to hopefully use it to positively create change in 
our spheres of control that will eventually ripple out and impact our sphere of concern. Does it feel really overwhelming to you sometimes all of the pain that is happening in the world, the things that you see on the news? Share in the comments by tagging at Heart Support and we will encourage you. That's what we're here for. And if you like using music to shift your mindset, hit subscribe. We've done a bunch of System of the Down. I just listened to Chop Suey for the first time, my first System of the Down song. So you can check that out here and use that to shift your mindset. We also use Toxicity as well. So check both of those out and I'll see you soon. Mwah.